Welcome back to Farm Bill Fabrications. And after years of having to air out the tires on my four wheeler every week, I finally got myself a set of tire tubes, which is what we're going to be getting installed on this four wheeler today. You can see the riding on the pavement. Your kids are growing up in basements. All right, so with the wheel off, you want to undo your valve cap. Then you want to let out all the air, so you have to pull out the valve core. Which you can hear there's basically no air in this tire. I mean, it's got a, a pretty thick sidewall, so it's not like a, a car tire or anything where it goes completely flat. But I'm going to get these tire tubes in there so that we don't have to worry about any issues at all. So we're not wearing out our tread or the sidewall. So with this out, the next thing that you need to do is take your uh, tire remover machine and you got to come in here and pop the bead off. I don't have one of those though. Now having a tractor is certainly a big help to get this bead popped, but you don't need one. I've seen other ways of people doing it where they've taken like a two by four or something similar and put it up on the tire and then drove up on the board and that pushed down. Or you could do it the way that the uh, big rig tire changers do it with the old sledgehammer if you got good aim. So anyway, so this popped off. The next thing we need to do is get the tire Pull the rim and above this rim. All right, that was a bit of a pain, but we got it. So the next thing we wanna do is get our inner tube that we're gonna be putting in here. Get that spread out. Uh, this style has a crush nut, so you have a nut that goes on the inside and then a nut that you have on the outside of the wheel that clamps this down to hold it in place. Other ones, if, it, if they have a rubber valve stem, kind of like the one that we pulled out, you're gonna need a valve stem installer tool like this, which this one's pretty cool. It comes with the valve core removal. That's a little thing that presses inside of the, uh, the valve stem. And uh, yeah, so then you would just take that, screw it in, Kind of like, like this. So you got to take it out and then you just pop it in, unscrew this, and you're in business. So anyways, with this one, let's go ahead and get it in. All right, so this one's done. So what I ended up doing is I put the inner tube in there and I got it started, the thread started through the valve stem hole. And then I put a little bit of air in it just for the inner tube itself to kind of sort itself out in case anything was folded over or getting hung up anywhere. And then I got the tire back up, reset the bead on the outside. I was able to do most of it by hand. You know, a lot of time, uh, you know, depending on what the sidewall is like on your tire, you can push this whole thing on and set the tire, you know, without having to use any tools. I got most of it, but ended up finishing off with the tool and got it folded over. And then from that point, you just air up your inner tube. I brought this to 20 and uh, yeah, it'll pop the front bead. The tire tube will do it. And same thing with the back and this thing's ready to go. Now I just have to do the other three. Well, these are already looking much better than they were before, and it's definitely gonna be nice to not have to air these up every week. So, now that's got three more of them to do. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more stuff to come. 
uh, different things around the shop as well as our automotive builds. We have the C10 and the F-150 builds. And like I said, much more to come. So thank you guys all for watching. You guys get outside, get wrenching, piss off your neighbor, disappoint your mom. And until next time, keep on keeping on. Yeah, make all the demons quiet.